Okay, so if you have not guessed it yet, this is my collab with Ken over at Moon Pie Creations. Now, you all suggested that we do one and send him our failed projects. So I have three of them here, and these are, I've got more, but these are three that I've done on film. So you all seen them. So this is a, a, it's a lilac vase, I believe, with some grass in it that I blew the bottom off. I probably should have stabilized that. And this is a corn cob one I done a couple years ago. It's got a lot of voids in it, and I can't remember why. Did I vacuum this one, put it in the vacuum chamber, and create those voids with the vacuum? I, I don't remember. And then I have the blue explosion. Now, I know how you guys are, and you'd probably have me send him this one. And, and I don't think I'm going to do that to him, even though I had a piece. I had a plan for it, so I had a piece for the center of it. I don't think I'm going to send him that one. So it, it, it's between either one of these two. Uh, I, I suppose probably this one. Uh, it, it, my best bang for the buck when I ship it, you know, because if it fits, it ships for this price. And of course, I'll probably throw other things in there, but it's not like I can throw a whole lot in that he doesn't have. Huh. Okay, so uh, let me get this boxed up, and when we come back, I'll be receiving the botched up project from Ken. <laughs> and it's arrived. <laughs> Fragile. <laughs> so he writes fragile on it. Um, and and uh, it sh showed up, it's all blown out of the box, I think. <laughs> Look. <laughs> so, anyways, you know, so Ken sent me another sticker to go with the other one I already have. I know you guys seen it last week, right? <laughs> uh, so, what he sent me is something that he's already started. And I'm not sure if he has a video. If he does, we'll, we'll put it over here in the corner. I think this is the very first resin project he's attempted. Uh, it kind of looks like a scrap bowl to me. It needs some help. Uh, yeah. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do here. Okay, so I think I'm going to try to mold it in this. I don't know what he molded this in. It's a... I'm going to assume it was something similar to this. So it does fit in here. Uh, it's got some pokey things sticking out. So I'm going to have to do some adjusting. Like, you know, this this guy here, I'm going to take that off of there. and uh, We'll see. Uh, I got extra pieces that fell off. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let me get some of this off here and, and uh, fix this up. So, I, I don't know what's down in here. There's probably going to be a nightmare down in there. Uh, this isn't going to fly. So, I'm going to do my best to get a lot of this off. I know I can use denatured alcohol, but I'm just going to try to grind most of it off of there. Let's we'll see what we get. I don't want to not use Ken's stuff. Uh, so, I'm going to try to put it back in. Uh, randomly put it back in there because he apparently was going for a scrap bowl. Uh, there's a lot of segmented pieces in here. And I'm sure he's got those projects somewhere. But the hot glue is going to cause an issue. And why is this foamed up down in here? You see it? You see the foam? You know what? I might, I might not even bother with this. Um, I think this is going to be an issue for me. I think maybe I'll try to clean this, these pieces up that he sent me. We'll cut these off of here. I uh, put them back in the bowl, and we'll use his waste block and his scraps. As soon as I clean them up, and then, then I will add to it.
Okay, so I don't recognize the smell off of this. Uh, usually, when you when you work with a resin, it has a it has a smell. I don't recognize that, so I'm gonna go with this probably polyester resin because it stinks. Man, I'm going to uh, yeah do most of this off camera. It's taking way too much time. Looks like poplar now, don't it? <laughs> All right, so let me get this off of here, and we'll get it over there with some resin in it, I think. It does look like poplar, and it turns really nice. <laughs> and then we will we'll drop some of these down in here, as I can. I don't know if I can, but we're going to try. Get her in a pressure pot, and hopefully, I just pour. It looks like a I don't know, inch and a half ish. We'll pour an inch and a half ish of blue, let her sit, and then we will. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I'm adding to it. So look, the Boat Arc Mountain Range. <laughs> Uh, this is kind of cutting into what I had planned to do, but I think that all kinds of stuff needs to kind of be in here and not disappear. So I, like I said, am adding to it. So rearrange it again here. So we're going to take this stuff out. And, yep. call this good so let me get some resin mixed up we'll get this down into the pressure pot and we will pour the blue section on the bottom I'm gonna to try to match that as close as I can and then uh, I'll come back and do what I want to do with it So I'm going to assume, that since Ken told me he bought the resin at Hobby Lobby, that you can buy the Pearl X Blue Green there. I'm out of that, but I'm pretty sure I got the next best thing right here. Blue Green. Black Diamond. <laughs> I think that's pretty close to what Ken had going over there. I am going to go with it. Let's 
so y'all seen me make these here a while back uh, where's the thing we'll put the, put it up there in the corner y'all want to see how i made these spheres uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut them in half like oh they're slippery <laughs> so i'm going to cut them in half like this now i said that you don't always know what they look like because they don't look like this on the inside so on the inside let's see if we can get it to focus here it looks like that which is really kind of cool looking so let me get these cut in half and uh, we'll get them into the my side of the project here care for is we're a little closer here than we are here well, I'm not sure how that's going to turn out but who cares anyway so we're going to put my my moons my moons are going to fill up everything else <laughs> that was the plan all along anyway so uh, I might have to do some editing and changing of things but Should we get it done in there? I don't know, look at that, we got it done in there. I think that's probably gonna be good enough. <laughs> so, uh, let me get some uh, colors mixed up. We'll go from there. see I got quite a bit to go till I'm round and um, my thin is actually I think thinnest like right here so as soon as I get around that's where I'm gonna stop so it's gonna basically just be that shape because <laughs> uh, uh, you know the, the piece of wood in there I, I, it leaves me room for error on the inside I guess
I still got a little ways to go right here. <laughs> and then I'm going to look for my boat arc mountain range, which I think there's part of it. Uh, so I wanted that in the picture that I'm doing. All the moons. See how weird they look? They're all different. <laughs> look at those. Pretty cool. One of them over here had like a square in it. This, look at this. Look at that. That's that's <laughs> that's awesome. That looks more like our moon there. <clears throat> or maybe that one. But yeah, so I'm looking for this. I'm not sure where it's all at. I think it might be here also. I think that's what I'm looking for. I'm not positive where it's at. I thought it was with the big moons. So that would be right here. So I think that is it. So once I get this round right here, and then we're going to come in so I can find that Old Ark Mountain range. And then we'll, we'll get the bottom of shape and start hollowing out the inside. Uh, you can see these two spots while it's spinning. See the shiny? I gotta make that go away. <laughs> So, uh, I'm having a bad vibration problem uh, right about this section right here. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is. It could be cutting all the different end grains and that, but I'm also getting uh, the, it's tearing out. So, you can see here, uh, I got some air pockets to fill, but like that's tore out. And there's a hole somewhere. Yeah, so I'm going to fill this hole. So, we're going to use some UV resin from the Totally Boat Company. Uh, I'm supposed to have a new link in that for in my description below. Uh, so if you all want to check that out, 5% off I believe. And it's reoccurring so you can come back now.
All right, so Mylan's cellulose sanding sealer. Uh, I only sanded the 320. I intend to put a resin coat on there because you should have known about that ring right there. Look at that. I don't know how much you can see. But look at they're kind of just coming in. Uh, they're still pretty thick, but I kind of like that look on that inside. Like they're there, but they're not there. Uh, I did want my little mountains to show up a little bit better. Um, I got probably about as far as I'm going to go there. I got this section here that's got to got to come out some, and this is working on being pretty thin right here. So. See what we can get out of that. And
Two to one, slow set resin. <laughs> uh, you knew I was going to do this, so. Uh, do I have anything coming on there? Huh. All right, and that's my collab with Moon Pie Creations. <laughs> so, uh, uh, what you didn't see was is I had to put like three coats on this. I was getting little air bubbles out of some uh, specific pieces of wood, and I wound up like as you see, I still got a couple little dimples there. Uh, I wound up using UV resin and filled them, <laughs> and putting another resin coat on them. So. Uh, there she is. I got my logo in the bottom. You seen in gold. Uh huh. So, uh, if you're over here from Ken's channel, thank you. I <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. Um, everybody needs to go over and check out Ken's channel or that video uh, and see how he's done it. Uh, I'll put pictures up at the end. Uh, what else? I got all kinds of stuff. Oh yeah, um, Etsy. So if you go to Etsy. Go to Etsy and then search for Pole Barn Productions, one word. Um, they're charging a off-site advertisement fee for using that link that I had in the bottom below. <laughs> so it cost me like $35 last time because they charged me for off-site advertisement. And it's not advertisement. So if you go to Etsy, go to Etsy.com and then use their search engine to find Pole Barn Productions. Sorry, it has to be that way until I find something better. <sighs> you know, if it ain't one thing, it's another. Somebody's always trying to rip you off. And not that um, Total Bull's trying to rip you off or anything, but I do have a new code down in the bottom, so it's 5% off for reoccurring visitors now, so you can go back more than once. And it's Total Bull something pole barn productions it's in the bottom in the description yeah what else what else what else what else um that's not going anything it, it, it looks great uh for the most part the moons look really good if you can see the moons in there and here we can see the moons on this side there you go there's the moons on this side uh see how they're all different and then i tried to match ken's color as best as i can that always looks bad right there to me but it's on the bottom it looks good on the inside right and I used all of Ken's wood. There's my boat art mountain range with all the little moons. Now you can see the moons in there. They're kind of cool looking like that. So I think it turned out great. Uh, I like it. <laughs> so, like I said, go check out Ken's project that I sent him. Sorry, Ken. I didn't know. <laughs> uh, I'll put pictures up at the end. Give her a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. And we'll see you all next week. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.